Hallelujah. We thank God you've tuned into this message by David Entry at Caris Church. No hand can help you with the fulfillment of your destiny, but the word of God. May God's hand align you further into your destiny through this word. Please be seated if you can. When what we have to change the world is not when we look like the world as a church. Ah, Christians don't have to be like the world to attract the world. It's a big mistake. We don't have to conform to the norms of the world because we want the world to identify with us so they can, we can attract them. It's a mistake. Bible said, and when it was noised abroad, <laughs> it was noised abroad, Acts chapter 4, 2 verse 5. People gathered because of what the Spirit of God was doing in the lives of these ordinary men who didn't know what was about to happen. All they knew was they were waiting for a promise. Whether they will be lifted above the roof or whether they will stay and nothing will happen, whether they will be tired, whether they will be... They, they didn't know, but what they knew that God, there's a promise pending. When the Holy Spirit came. It, it is not their niceness that attracted them. Now, watch this. It is the Holy Spirit upon us, working in us, Huh. In First Corinthians, I've not started teaching. Okay. In First Corinthians chapter chapter two, verse. <laughs> this thing is, guys, is is man. I, I don't. I want to con- control myself because I want to quote the verse. But the previous verses are also shouting and say, Pastor, please, man of God, please quote us, quote us to add us, add us to the flow, <laughs> add us to the flow. Oh, the thing is pulling me. I'm going to verse 14. But 13, 13 is shouting my name. 13 said, please, don't leave me out. Now, 9 has also decided to cross and join. Yeah. <laughs> no eye has heard, no ear heard. Neither, no eye has seen, no ear heard. Neither has it entered the heart of man. Do you know what it means? It doesn't matter how well educated you are, you won't be able to pick up certain divine signals. No, no. It doesn't take theology to pick up divine signals. Because it was the theologians who killed Jesus. They thought they were following Moses, but they actually were not Moses' disciples, but they knew they were. But they were not. Jesus said, You are not. Because the acid test has made you fail because you are not. They thought they were walking, they were. Followers of Moses. But Jesus said, John chapter 5, verse 46, if you are Moses' disciples, you will believe in me because all Moses wrote was about me. <laughs> I like that text so much. Oh boy. If you sit under listening to me, there are some scriptures you will miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You cannot miss certain scriptures if you keep listening oh, yes. to me. Every preacher has got certain core scriptures. <laughs> so, it is not that God, the, the oppressions, <laughs> yeah. the oppressions of God is within a certain realm. Natural man can't pick the signals. They don't even know it exists. But they are, they are, their hearts are hungry for what it offers. Oh. They don't know it as this. So they are using different things, searching, using every means to look for something. They hear, it's like, I need something, but they don't know what it is. They use every means. Money, um, fun, possession, power, position, prestige. Talk about whatever people do. The ultimate is there's something that is missing. But Bible says that no eye has seen. No ear head, neither has it entered into the heart of any man. What God has prepared for us, it's in a different frequency. They can't pick it up. Ah. However, the Spirit of God is more powerful than Google. The Spirit of God, it says that 
He says that, however, verse 10, he says that, but, but God has revealed so these things. Watch this. You can't be a Christian and permanently be unaware when it comes to God's program and God's purpose and God's plan for you. He said, my sh- I know my sheep. If you are a sheep, you are b- the ability to hear his voice is already inside you. If you are a Christian and you are born again, automatically you are afforded by heaven the installation to be able to hear the voice of God. <laughs> because he said, I know my sheep. My sheep know my, John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep know my voice. They know my voice. So the things that no eye has seen, no ear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man. He said, when it comes to some of us, it is still, it's not in the dark. Why? Because God has revealed. God has revealed. God has revealed these things to us by Spirit. By Spirit. By his spirit. Why? Because the spirit searches. Yes. Yes. Search engine. The most reliable search engine is the spirit. The spirit searches all things. Yes. The deep things of God. You see why number no verse 9 was shouting for me? And verse 10 said, You can't leave me out. And then verse 11 also jumps into it. He says that for what, 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 what you can't know the things that the person sitting next to you is thinking. You can't know. But the person's spirit knows. His spirit. No man knows by his spirit. Even so. Ah. He said that, that, that even so, when you read the Bible, you come across these phrases, likewise, or uh, word, likewise, phrases, much more, even so, in the same way. Those things, is very, they, are, they are very deta- very powerful. Don't miss them. He said, even so, the way your spirit knows what is in you, even so, the things of God know no man. Say the spirit. Look at the next verse. And he says, this is the kind of spirit. <laughs> now we have received. That means that there's a spirit in the world. The spirit of looking for money. The spirit for fashion. The spirit for, 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 for football, for relevance, for politics. And those things are not bad in themselves. It makes people, their life go on. They are spirits. Not, I'm not, I don't even mean sp- uh, holy or uh, uh, some demonic spirit. No, no, I don't mean that. But you know what he said? The, the, today you are in the spirit, you are in the mood. It's just like, you see, so he says that there's a spirit in the world which controls the mood. When you go to every community, every society, there is a spirit that controls the mood, that controls the news. Mm. It controls the mood, it controls the news, it controls sports. But when revival comes, revival, the spirit of God dislodges. That's what revival does for a land. Recently, we are reading from 2 Kings, where the, I think, uh, chapter 17, is it chapter, we haven't got, yeah, we chapter, one of the, where the king of Babylon, or Syria, took over Israel and Judah and took, took, took the people out and brought Babylonians and different, different, is it verse 70 or verse 23 or verse 27 of chapter something? Yeah. And then today is chapter 24. Yeah, so, and brought the people, is it chapter 17? Brought, chapter 70, 24. And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon from Qatar, <laughs> Kuta, and from Ava, you didn't know it's in the Bible, and Hamath, and from Sepharvim, hey. and, <laughs> and places in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel, and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. But there was a mistake. 
because the city they have come to take over is God's territory. <laughs> you can come with your gods and see what they did. See, this is the next verse. Uh, and so it was at the beginning of of their dwelling there, that they feared not the Lord. Therefore, the Lord sent lions. They were dwelling somewhere. They didn't really fear God. But not this territory. <laughs> not this territory. God said, I'm the one in charge here. So there are territories that, spirits that take over territories. Spirits that are irresponsible for territories. Certain crime happen in pre pre predominantly in certain territories, certain neighborhoods. Because there are spirits that govern those areas. In the same way, we say, Bible says, the spirit of the world. When you, uh oh, when you go Go into a neighborhood and you are filled with the Holy Ghost. The spirit there cannot, oh, kadash, abata, cannot control you. You have to go. You go with superior authority because we have not received the spirit that is of the world, but we have received the spirit akadash, adabababa, madaya, the spirit which is of God that we may know the things that are freely given us. Yeah. The things they can't know, the spirit takes us. It's a frequency. It's a frequency. It's a frequency. Some of you might not be aware of band waves, AM and FM. If you have a radio that only catches AM. <laughs> Hello, this is BBC. And then you hear that Choice FM is playing some music or there's an interview going. You want Choice FM? No, you can't go because you are not in that frequency. Yeah, yeah, you are not. So even though you need someone who can get into that frequency to tell you what they are saying in that frequency, but you, you the natural man, you can move into that frequency, the frequency. And however, men around, human beings, wherever you go, they have a yearning. There is something they have, they are looking for. Can, that can only be supplied and accessed in that frequency God has uh, given us access to. And we operate from that frequency pick it and begin. So if we try to attract people to church, trying to look like them, trying to be what they are looking for, we will miss it. We do it full of the Holy Ghost. And Stephen and Philip went down to Samaria. He was full of power. And Philip, after they laid hands on him, he was a man full of faith, full of the Holy Ghost. He went and God Bible said he wrote mighty work. Stephen. The Holy Ghost. Philip went to Samaria, Acts chapter 8. Stephen went to town and wrought mighty, mighty works, Acts chapter 6, from verse 8. Philip. In Acts chapter 8, sorry, Stephen. And Acts chapter 8, Philip went down to Samaria and the entire city came to a, a halt. They gave him their audience. They gave him their audience. He was operating in a frequency. And that frequency, when you enter there, it has ranges. Yeah. Oh, yes. It has ranges. I see God carrying somebody somewhere. Yeah. Carrying somebody into a different realm. Yeah. Let me say this and I'll pray for the people that I can preach. Is that okay? Is that okay? I haven't, I haven't started preaching. No, 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 no. I feel like preaching. What's your blessing in this season? See the hand of God resting upon you. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Let me say that we have not received the spirit of the world, but we have received the spirit that is of God. Verse 13. <laughs> now listen, 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 see why 13 kept shouting at me. 13 is a senior brother. <laughs> He says that which things we also speak, mm -hmm. not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. You know, when you speak from the Spirit, people will give you the credit that you are quite smart. Wow, nowadays you are very wise. No, no. It's not from you. 
you have to be very quick to know that this thing there is, there is. Those of you who are, who are preachers, when the Holy Ghost, when you pray, that's why it's good to pray before you go and preach. He said, but we will give ourselves continually to the, to the, to prayer and the ministry. Yeah. The continuality is in the prayer, which makes the ministry of the word easier. <laughs> because their, their main job, watch this, is not to pray. No, 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 no. Their main assignment, their main task was not to pray. What, what do you mean? They said it in the verse 2. It's just that you didn't look at it. Yeah, yeah. You didn't listen to Peter when he started talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When Peter and the elders, they said, they said it is not desirable that we should leave. That's, that's a, they didn't say we should leave prayer. They said that word. Because now the challenge here is someone needs to attend to the tables. But we can't leave the word. So we need someone to attend to the table so we don't have to leave the word. So get someone to attend the table because it's not desirable, it's not appropriate, it's not right. It, it's not in the interest of the church wow. that we should leave the word and serve table. But tables are important to be served. But it's easy for someone to because our primary task is the word. That's their primary task. But they cannot do that primary task without continually giving themselves to prayer. So they said, appoint them, and verse 4 says that, but we, gosh, you see the but? Yeah. But we will give ourselves, oh, I was teaching in KP2. You must let, give yourself to some good things. Don't forget how you've given yourself to other things before you arrived in church. Yeah. Before I got born again, no party that I, I didn't, you know, where I grew up, you don't have to be invited. But even when you accept that when you're invited, there's not enough food. But music is forever. And music is loud. So you can be somewhere and hear music. And I go and wear my gloves like Michael Jackson. Who's that girl? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. I love to dance. Wow. And when I was in boarding school, Saturday nights is, is we call it entertainment. Wow. Yeah, it's almost like a mini affronation. Yeah. And <laughs> we, we will be dancing. I'm always there. I'm always dancing on the floor. I, I mean, I, even if I'm sick, I'll go and dance. Wow. Yeah. I, I like to dance. Then I got born again. Wow. And I finally have found what my life has been made for. Yeah. Jesus, to live for Jesus. Looking, I've been looking for Jesus for so long. Finally, I found him. Life is in place. And then I'll come to church and be cow. The devil is a liar. I gave myself to entertainment. Now I will give myself to praising God, to preaching the gospel, to evangelizing. To oh, come on. Do, do I have someone here who wants to give yourself to something? You, 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 some of us, you used to smoke. Yeah. You even have vape that you don't use. Somewhere here. <laughs> Memorabilia. Yes. Some of us here, things that you used to do, you were known for it. You were known for it. People can boast. Hey! So, he said, people can, some of you used to boast about things you can do. You used to boast about how you can steal money from somebody's account without they knowing the bank account. Yeah. Yeah. You used to boast about, some of you used to boast about how this guy thinks he's strong, I'm going to get him. Yeah. And no, no man escapes your, escaped your grips if you wanted him. Whether married, single, children or that doesn't matter once you want somebody and you could boast some of us you could boast you to boast about how many pints of beer you can drink in at a time yeah. Wow. Yeah. how many sticks of cigarettes you can smoke within one hour why because you had given yourself to it and now look at what Jesus has done 
Oh, some of us, we have given ourselves to this thing. Kadaba shakadababa. I don't care what you think. I don't care how you feel about it. I want you to know me. I have given myself fully to this Jesus thing. Oh, do I have the witness in the house? Scream! Never think God can use you for a Bible if you have not given yourself to him. The apostles said, we will give ourselves continually to prayer and the ministry of the word. That, that, so you need the prayer so you can do the ministry of the word. You need it. When you have prayed and you begin to minister, you, you enter a frequency and take from that frequency. When people hear it, they feel, ah, I didn't know this is what I've been looking for, but I think this is it. The, 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 the guy is saying things that my heart has been yearning for. No, it's a frequency. It's a frequency. We have not received the spirit of the world, but we have received the spirit that is of God. And it says that to know the things that are freely given to us. Let's look at the verse 13 that I can go to. You know why I didn't want to go into that? Yeah. We things we also speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Why? For, for <laughs> the natural man. You can, your, your waves, radio waves, it cannot receive TV communication. You can't. You can't. You don't have what it takes. So we, who walk with God, it says that we pick it and we speak these things. Amen. That is what it means to, to, to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to be used by the Holy Spirit. You speak the things of God. It's not just theological stuff. You, when you speak, God, God dominates wherever the sound of your voice is. <laughs> A man filled with the Holy Ghost. I see people being filled with the Holy Ghost. Thank you for listening to this message by David Entry. We pray you have been strengthened and enlightened. You can connect with David Entry on all relevant social media platforms, including Instagram and LinkedIn. You can also hear more messages from David Entry on all relevant streaming platforms and the Caris Church app. Don't forget to like and share the message. Be blessed.